Imagine stepping into a room where your arrival transforms the atmosphere. Your entry demands respect, your contributions are immediately acknowledged, and your opinions are eagerly sought. This isn't just wishful thinking. It's the result of mastering an ancient craft, one that is steeped in Stoic philosophy. Today, you're about to learn the nine powerful psychological tactics that can elevate your standing and make you a priority in any situation. You know the frustration of being undervalued and ignored. You put in the effort, but it seems like you're a shadow even in broad daylight. It's a common story, but it doesn't have to be yours. Stoicism offers a counterintuitive lesson. True value comes from within and is not diminished by external neglect. Yet it's undeniable that gaining priority in the eyes of others can lead to significant benefits, whether in your career or personal life. These strategies we're about to explore aren't just theoretical. They are practical, actionable, and have stood the test of time. They will not only earn you the recognition you deserve, but will also strengthen your inner fortitude. As we delve into these strategies, keep in mind that they are more than just techniques. They are part of a transformative process, a shift in mindset that begins with how you see yourself and radiates outward. So, if you're ready to not just be noticed, but to be given precedence, stay with me. This is not about capturing a fleeting moment of attention. It's about establishing a powerful aura that persists and makes an impact well beyond your initial interaction. Let's start the process toward a more respected, prioritized you. Before we delve into these nine Stoicism principles, smash that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified for our next video. 1. Command your space. Let's get straight to the core of it. You wouldn't stand for second place in the office, on the field, or at the gym, so why accept it in life's hierarchy? It's not about ego. It's about esteem for yourself above all. When you choose to invest your time and energy, do it where it matters. If there's no mutual acknowledgement of worth, it's time to reconsider your alliances. By choosing environments where your value is recognized, you naturally raise your status. Remember, you don't have control over how others value you, but you're the sovereign of your own self-regard. Want to be the main act in life's drama? Start by giving yourself the lead role in your personal saga. 2. Forge your own joy. Here's a straight shot of truth. Anchoring your happiness to someone else is like building a house on sand. It shifts and crumbles without warning. The man who is master of his own joy holds a power no one can strip away. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotion. It's about sourcing your satisfaction from the unshakable parts of life you control. Ever notice how folks are drawn to someone who's got their act together? That's no fluke. It's the magnetism of self-sufficiency. Find pleasure in your daily routine, your personal achievements, the quiet moments of contemplation. This isn't about retreating to a solitary life. It's about being so anchored in your own happiness that you become the foundation, not the waves crashing against it. That's the kind of man who doesn't just end up on someone's priority list. He tops it. 3. Master the art of presence by absence. It's a basic law of nature. The scarce resource is the most valued. If gold was as common as gravel, it would be worth as much. Apply this to your presence. When you're always available, you become just another part of the landscape, easy to overlook. No stoic sage ever won respect by being at everyone's beck and call. Let's keep it real simple. Be the gold, not the gravel. It's not about playing games or measuring out your minutes with a miser's hand. It's about having a life so engaging, so full of purpose and passion, that your availability is naturally limited. You're not hiding away. You're ascending, engaging in pursuits that sharpen your mind and fortify your soul. And here's the key point. When you do grant someone your time, it's not just another slot in your schedule. It's an event. They'll feel it too. Your presence becomes a privilege, not a given. 4. Keep your orbit. Command their interest. Let's delve into the paradox of desire. The world chases after what retreats from it. The rarest treasures are those not easily gained. In your relationships, if you make someone your son, your entire world revolving around them, 
you risk becoming just another satellite. Predictable, constant, taken for granted. Consider the opposite, a life where you are the sun and others are drawn into your gravity. It's about cultivating a life so rich, so fascinating, that you don't need to orbit anyone else and they feel the pull of your passions, your projects, your growth. This isn't about playing hard to get, it's about being hard to forget. You know that old saying, the grass is always greener on the other side. There's truth to it. People are naturally intrigued by the unattainable, the unoccupied, the sovereign. So when you stay invested in your own path, those who re when you don't make them the epicenter of your existence, you become the greener grass. You're not aloof, you're just self-aligned. And in that self-alignment, you become a mystery, a challenge, a goal. Your presence becomes a reward, not a given right. And suddenly you'll find they're seeking your attention, not the other way around. This is the essence of allure, the secret to becoming a priority in their lives without even asking for it. Five, hold the power to step back. The ultimate act of self-respect, the readiness to fold them and walk away, whether it's a negotiation, a bad deal, or a one-sided relationship. The willingness to step back is the purest form of self-prioritization. Stoicism teaches us to detach from outcomes and focus on our own actions and values. This isn't about giving up. It's about stepping up for your own well-being. In the grand theater of life, knowing when to exit stage left is as important as making an entrance. It's not a rash move, nor is it a surrender. It's a strategic retreat. Remember, the strongest position you can ever hold is one where you're not bound by the need for any single outcome. Think of it like this. Every time you're willing to walk away, you send a signal flare into the world that says, I value myself enough not to settle. This isn't about arrogance. It's about self-assurance. And the moment you start to move away is often the very moment that others begin to take a step closer, recognizing the value that they stand to lose. Walking away isn't an end. It's a declaration of worth, a pause for reflection, a space where you weigh the scales of your life. Does this situation merit your time, your energy, your passion? If not, you have the strength, the courage, and the stoic wisdom to withdraw and redirect those resources to where they are recognized and rewarded. 6. Cultivate the art of listening. In a world where everyone is shouting to be heard, the one who listens becomes the most sought after. It's a rare skill, a form of respect that makes the speaker feel valued, understood, and prioritized. When you listen, truly listen, you're not just waiting for your turn to speak, you're absorbing, processing, and engaging with their world. This isn't about being passive, it's about being present. And in that presence, you become a sanctuary, a confidant, a trusted ally. People gravitate towards those who make them feel heard, and in doing so, you rise in their estimation, becoming a priority in their lives. Listening is an active process, a conscious choice to put your own agenda aside and enter their world. It's a gift, a form of generosity that costs nothing but pays dividends in respect and trust. By mastering the art of listening, you become more than just another voice in the cacophony. You become the silence that others seek out, the calm in their storm. And in that calm, you find your power. 7. Embrace the power of patience. In a world obsessed with speed, the patient man is king. Patience is a form of self-control, a stoic virtue that speaks of a deeper understanding of life's rhythms. It's not about passivity. It's about strategic waiting, knowing when to act and when to hold back. In your interactions, patience gives you an edge. It allows you to observe, to gather information, to understand the dynamics before making your move. It's a sign of confidence, a quiet assertion that you're not at the mercy of immediate reactions or fleeting emotions. And in that patience, you become a figure of stability, a rock in the shifting sands of impulsive decisions. People are drawn to that stability, that sense of calm amidst the chaos. They begin to see you as a guiding force, a wise counsel, a priority in their decision-making process. Patience isn't just a virtue, it's a strategy, 
a way of asserting your presence without saying a word. It's the art of letting things unfold at their own pace, secure in the knowledge that your time will come. And when it does, you'll be ready, not rushed, not reactive, but measured, deliberate, and impactful. 8. Cultivate an aura of mystery. The most fascinating people are those who reveal just enough to intrigue but not enough to satisfy. They're like a novel you can't put down, a puzzle you're compelled to solve. In your interactions, learn the art of holding back, of revealing yourself in layers not all at once. This isn't about being secretive, it's about being selective. Share your stories, your insights, your experiences, but always leave room for curiosity, for questions, for the desire to know more. This creates a dynamic where you're not just another open book, but a mystery to be unraveled. And in that mystery, you become a magnet, drawing others in, compelling them to invest time and effort to understand you. It's a subtle dance, a balance between openness and reserve, transparency and enigma. By mastering this art, you become a figure of intrigue, a person of depth and layers, someone who is always just out of reach yet always within sight. And in that delicate balance, you become a priority, not because you demand it, but because you inspire it. 9. Lead with generosity. The ultimate and perhaps most impactful approach is to initiate with a spirit of generosity. This isn't about tangible gifts or monetary benevolence. It's about the largeness of heart, the investment of time, the focus of attention, in a milieu where egocentrism often prevails. The individual who contributes selflessly stands distinct. It's a form of stewardship, a method of establishing the ambiance, of illustrating what's achievable when we move beyond our own confines and into the radiance of selflessness. This kind of generosity is infectious. It motivates others to ascend to your standard, to reciprocate your openness with their own. And in this interaction, you transform into more than just another presence in the space. You become an instigator, a dynamo for constructive transformation. Your benevolence becomes your trademark, your distinguishing feature, a reflection of your ethos and your principles. And in this reflection, you become a focal point, not solely in the perception of others, but in the broader context of life itself. You emerge as a beacon, a guiding star, an emblem of what's achievable when we opt to lead with our hearts as well as our intellects. These nine strategies are more than mere tactics. They represent a philosophy of living, a credo that can revolutionize not only how you are viewed, but how you view yourself. They are grounded in stoic insight, in the recognition that intrinsic worth emanates from within, that esteem is acquired, not bestowed, and that our deeds resonate more profoundly than our words. By adopting these strategies, you're not merely altering your external situation. You're transforming your internal terrain, nurturing a mindset of self-regard, self-consciousness, and self-prioritization. And in this metamorphosis, you evolve not just into a priority in the eyes of others, but into a priority in your own existence, a person of significance, of essence, of undeniable impact. So proceed, apply these strategies, and observe as the world begins to acknowledge the true value that resides within you.